Hi everyone, Brandon with Your Right Website here. Today's video is a quick look at Matomo, which offers self-hosted analytics. Matomo is a great alternative to Google Analytics. There are several reasons why you might choose Matomo over Google Analytics. It has a simplified interface that's easier to understand than Google Analytics. It's self-hosted, which means you own your own data and it's private. In addition, it can be made GDPR compliant. Users may block Google Analytics tracking, but since Matomo is served from your own domain, it's harder to block. Before we dive into Matomo, I'm going to tell you how you can download Matomo for yourself. You're going to want to go to matomo.org, and they actually offer quite a few ways for you to get access to Matomo. They offer a hosted service, which you can pay monthly for, or you can get the what they call on-premise, which is basically the self-hosted option. So. We're going to take a look at the self-hosted option, which is what I have running here. And to get it, you would just click on the download button. And you actually have two options for self-hosted. You can do Matomo on-premise, which is what I am running here. And that allows you to add more than one site to your Matomo instance. And that's good if you're running multiple websites and you want to manage all of their analytics in one central place. If you have a single site, however, and you're running WordPress, you can install the Matomo for WordPress plugin, which is very similar to the self-hosted option, except it only covers a single site. Both of these are good options for self-hosted analytics. Let's jump in and take a look at Matomo. What you see here is the main dashboard that you are presented with when looking at the website data for a specific website in Matomo. In this case, we are looking at the data for my website, yourrightwebsite.com. Taking a look at the dashboard, you'll see that we have some helpful information available right at our fingertips. Uh, we have the visits in real time, which is showing the latest activity on the site. We have a quick graph of visits over time that shows us how things are trending. We have the visitor map, which is showing us the countries with the most visitors to our website. Uh, we have the visits overview, which provides a little more statistics about the visitors and how they're interacting with the site. And then we have um, some additional information as we scroll down about where people are coming from and information from Matomo like the blog. What we're going to focus on on this screen is the visits in real time because that provides some really cool information. With the visits in real time, you can see visitors as they're coming to your site. As you can see, um, within the last 24 hours, we've had nine visits to our site with 17 actions. And actions are things such as a page load or a page reload. So if we take a look at a visitor here, um, our latest visitor here, you can see by hovering over the country flag, this user is actually from Vietnam. And it looks like they're running Safari on iOS on a smartphone type operating system. And you can see that this user actually came to us from Facebook. And the page that they were viewing was a blog post of mine. Um, and you can see that they viewed the blog post and that was the only page on the site that they viewed. If we take a look at this user, you can see this user was from the United States in Florida. They were also on mobile Safari, on an iOS device, on a smartphone. And then you can see this user, they started on the home page, and then they went to the About Us page, and then they went to the Our Process page. And you can see that there was a natural progression between those pages. If we take a look at this next user, this is a little bit interesting because we can see that they're a returning visitor. And they've actually visited the site three times. And looking at them, they're from Queensland, Australia. They're running Firefox Mobile on iOS, on a smartphone. And it looks like they came from Reddit. And they were viewing a blog post that I had on my site. Now, if we click the visitor profile, that's actually going to give us a lot more information because this is a repeat visitor. And we can see on their first visit to the site, they viewed the blog post and then they viewed the R process page. And then on the second visit, they viewed the blog post again um, a few days later. And then on the third visit, they viewed the blog post again. So where Matomo really shines is that it lets you see when visitors are coming back to your site and viewing a page over and over again. That is a strong signal to you as a webmaster um, or a website owner that that content is interesting and engaging and people are coming back to it. Like in this case, it's a blog post about a plugin that I wrote 
and it has some good information that can be used as a reference. So there's people probably coming back to that blog post to get information about the plugin and about the technology that I use. So they probably got a bookmark and they're probably coming back to um, reread the blog post over and over again. And that sends a signal to me as a blogger, hey, people like this content, I should probably write more content like that. So that is the power of Matomo and the real-time visits. Now that we've explored the dashboard, we're gonna go a little bit further into Matomo and take a look at what it has to offer. Um, so if we go over to visitors, we can click overview and we can see that for the current time period, which is just a single day, we've had 26 visits averaging one minute, 45 seconds in length. Um, you can see that 62 visits have bounced, which means left the website after one page. Um, and it just kind of gives us a nice little overview of how people are interacting with the site. And then you can see some trends over the day, just when people are visiting the site. This isn't really that helpful because it's just for a single day though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna switch it to month. And now we can see for the month of September, all of the visits um, to the website. And since the website is pretty new, um, there isn't gonna be too much historical data, but you can see looking at the visits over time, it slowly starts to trend upwards. And you can see that over the month of September, we've had 654 visits with 594 unique visitors, and they're visiting the site for about a minute each. And then the majority of visitors, about 69%, are leaving after viewing one page. Um, so this gives you a really good overview of um, your visits over time. If you wanna dig into it a little more, you can go to the visits log. And this is a more in-depth um, log of that real-time view. Um, so I can go in and I can see all the visits in September. So I can see, you know, where are people coming from? I can look at a glance, you know, which pages are popular, which browsers are popular. Like this person's using Brave. You know, what pages are they viewing? What is the flow for an individual viewer? It really gives you a lot of information about your visitors. Um, and then real time, this is gonna show a view similar to that real time view on your dashboard. This is just people coming into your site at the moment and over the last um, day or so. The real-time map, this is kind of interesting. This is like a heat map um, that shows you where in the world people are coming um, to your site from geographically. So you can see most of my visitors are scattered in the U.S., but we've got a couple in, in Europe here. Uh, that guy from Vietnam, somebody from Australia, somebody from, looks like Peru. So you can see at, an, at a glance where in the world are your visitors coming from. Um, locations, if we go there, it's just a different view of that real-time map over time. And we can see here, the majority of our visitors are from the US, which is to be expected. Canada is in second, United Kingdom is in third. And then it breaks it down by region. So it looks like we get a lot of visitors from California, then Virginia, then Tennessee, and so on. And we can even break it down by city. Um, so there's a lot of helpful information here. We can even see with the web browser language. It looks like the majority is in English, which it is an English language site, but we are getting some users who have their default language set to French and some who have it set to Spanish. And one, uh, a user who has it set to Vietnamese, which is probably that visitor from Vietnam. Um, but overall, Matomo provides a lot of interesting information um, about your users. Uh, we can dig in, we can look at devices. So we can see the majority of our visitors are on desktop. 49%, but 40% are on smartphone. Then we can see there's some on phablet, which is a big phone, and then tablet, and then Matomo also kind of tracks some of the niche um, device types like car browser. Um, <laughs> don't have any users viewing the site from car browser. Um, but we can also see what devices users are coming to the site on. So generic desktop, that means it probably, probably can't determine what they're using. A lot of Apple devices, uh, looks like a Samsung device. Um, and then we can even see device brand. Um, it breaks it down if it can. You know, Apple, Samsung, Google um, breaks it down by that. And then screen resolution. This can be helpful for um, dealing with responsiveness and design. Um, it looks like the majority of our users are coming at 1366 by 768, but that's also tied with 1920 by 1080. Looking at software, this is gonna tell us by operating system version, what version people are using. So it looks like the majority is Windows 10 and 11 and iOS. 
and we got some Android, we got some Linux, just a mix of different operating systems and then browsers. No surprise, Chrome is on top, mobile Safari, Microsoft Edge, um, and so on and so forth. And then it just provides some graphs of the different browsers that people are using or the browser engines. So Blink is Chrome, WebKit for Safari, um, and then the other browser engines here. Um, and then it even breaks down, you know, what plugins do people have installed? Some of this information is no longer relevant, like Flash, nobody's using Flash anymore. Um, but you can see if people have plugins installed, um, Matomo will log that. Now we're gonna take a look at the behavior tab in Matomo. And this is gonna give us information about how users are actually interacting with your site. So if we go to behavior and then click on pages, you can see all of the pages on your website and it'll give you an account of the page views, the unique page views, and then the bounce rate, and then the average time on the page. Um, so we can see here that the most popular page on our site is website design and development. This is because I was running ads against that page. Um, so we can see that people are coming in with different refers um, from, or different referral strings from the different ad networks. Um, but then we have the index, which is the home page. So that's the second most popular page. And then the third most popular page I can see is actually that blog post I was talking about, which is listed here as index. And then this other URL is the comments um, system that was, um, somebody left a comment and I had to approve it. So that's the comment system. But you can see at a glance um, all the pages on your website and which pages are the most popular for your visitors. Going over to entry pages, this is the same thing, only you'll see which page people entered the site on. Um, exit pages, this is showing the last page people were on on the site before they decided to go away from your site. Um, and page titles, this will just break things down instead of by URL, it will break it down by the page uh, title. Um, outlinks, you can see the links that people have clicked leading away from your site. So the most popular one was Calendly, which is the free consultation link. Um, the next one is Dolt Hub, which is referenced in that blog post. Um, so this can be really helpful as well. You can see how people are interacting with your site and what content um, is causing them to link off of your site. Um, so this has been an overview of the behavior page. Uh, the last thing that we're going to look at in uh, Matomo is acquisition. And this is how are people finding your site. Um, so if we take a look here, we just have an overview and it can show over time there's more people finding our site. Um, so if we go to all channels, you can see that websites um, is the number one channel here. And this is how people are finding the site. Um, syndicated search.goog, that is Google Ads. And then Reddit, people are finding the site through Reddit. And then through some other, um, through some other websites, people are finding the site. Now, direct entry, that means that somebody either directly typed the website address in their browser, or maybe they had it saved in a bookmark, um, or Matomo isn't able to determine what website they are coming from. Um, in direct entry, that's just people that are going directly to the page and are not being funneled through some other refer. Social networks, this is things like Facebook and Reddit, LinkedIn, so you can track how many people are coming to your site from a social network. Um, campaigns, this is like Facebook ad campaigns. You can see here I ran three different Facebook ad campaigns and I can see how many visits I am getting to the site through those. And then search engines, this will show you how many people came to your site through a search engine. Unfortunately, Google hides the keyword that people come into your site um, from. They no longer pass that data to the website, so Matomo has no way of determining what the keyword the user was searching for is, but you can get that information from Google Search Console um, if you want to kind of reconcile uh, that data. Um, but looking at this interface, um, this just gives you a, some details about how people are finding your site, and then you can drill down more um, into the different um, subcategories under acquisition here, like search engines, for instance, I can see most people are coming from Google, looks like some are actually coming from the Facebook search engine, and then some are coming from Bing. Uh, looking at the websites, again, we can see just kind of the same information. Social networks, we can kind of see that same information. Uh, Matomo does kind of show the same information in multiple views. 
This has been a tutorial just showing you the basics of Matomo and what Matomo as a self-hosted analytics program has to offer. If you want to get started with Matomo, um, the link to the Matomo website will be in the description where you can either sign up for their um, hosted service or you can download the Matomo program or download their Matomo WordPress plugin. Um, if you are looking for website design and development, I do offer WordPress website design through yourrightwebsite.com. And if you host your website with me, I will also provide access to Matomo free of charge as a part of your monthly hosting fee. So again, this has been a quick overview of the Matomo uh, Analytics program, which is a great alternative to Google Analytics. If you like this video, I would really appreciate a like. And if you want to hear more from me, go ahead and subscribe. And if you like what you saw or you have questions, go ahead and leave that in the comments.